I'm Dan Miller. I'll give the 30 seconds on what I do. I do clean tech venture capital. We invest in things like carbon capture, energy storage, water. These are like fundamental technologies that we need to go forward. Um, I also give talks on fee and dividend, and I'll just throw it out there. Best, best way to put a price on carbon is fee and dividend. Everyone would love it. Uh, they do it in Alaska for different reasons. Everyone loves it there, including Sarah Palin. So uh, we can talk about carbon pricing. Um, I also want to talk about the fact that there is a possible silver lining to Trump winning the election. Because if Hillary won the election, people would have thought something's happening about climate. But nothing's happening about climate. Nothing happened under Clinton. Nothing happened under Bush. Nothing happened over, under Obama. He did a few good things, but he also increased fossil fuel production more than any other president in history and was proud of it. So that's what... And, and the climate doesn't care what you say or do. It only cares what you, you know, what you put in the atmosphere. And it's really far gone. People have no idea how far gone it is. And the climate scientists would do a great job, are a little cautious about telling you about how far gone it is. But, you know, a few things like last time it was 400 parts per million like it is today. Sea levels were 75 feet higher than today. I think there's almost no chance we're going to avoid two degrees. We're, we're worried about are we going to avoid four degrees, which... Uh, climate scientist Kevin Anderson said is not compatible with an organized global community. So that's the bad news, and it's really bad, okay? But the good news is that if, again, if Hillary won, everyone would have thought something was happening. And then we get the statistics like we just heard, that very large percentage of Americans want to do something about climate. And want some, well, they want someone else to do something about climate. And nothing happens. So what we need is something like the Tea Party, we need people that are crazy, fanatical, will vote out Democrats that aren't strong enough on climate. And that's how you get political power. And you don't need a lot of them. You need like 10%, you know, to be crazy about this thing. Well, with Hillary, everyone had thought Hillary was doing something. But she's, you know, chances are she wouldn't have done. I mean, we're not even talking about what's really necessary to do. You know, increasing solar, great, all the stuff. You know, but nothing's going to, it's not making the kind of dent of getting down to zero emissions by 2050, right? And then negative emissions after that. So, but with Trump there, everyone's going to know that no one's doing anything about it. And for, so for the first time, so now when he says, well, I don't know, it was a Chinese hoax or something, now the press can come back and interview Ben and you get know, this is bullshit. And, and then the people will rise up and maybe get what's really necessary, which is an army of people who are dedicated to, to fanatically dedicated to solving the problem. And I think there's, a, I'm not guaranteeing this, <laughs> I'm just saying that the situation is sort of there. If we can turn that, if we can use a little jujitsu of taking this negative thing and flipping it back into real, dedicated, crazy action on climate. And again, the answer is, we know all we need to know about climate. We know the solutions, and everyone would love them. And it's absolutely insane that we're not doing anything about it. But that's because people just are not engaged on the pro to the extent they need to. And I'll just do a little plug for a book that talks all about this kind of thing which is the, uh, uh, don't even think about it, why our brains are wired to ignore climate change by uh, George Marshall. I, I helped him edit the book. And it's all about, not about climate change, but how we think about climate change and why it's so hard to get people engaged. And it is really hard. This is a diabolical problem designed by some mastermind to prevent, to make sure we don't act in time. So we, anyway, if we can just get people together and really, really get a small army of people really dedicated to doing something, then I think we actually have a shot at it. And we'll have cool technologies ready to go when, when we put the right incentives in place. Thanks.